and a couple of meters down the road, there's our next marker. And just taking a look around back to the redwoods, there they are, lovely magnificent trees. And then turning around further, some new pines, and on with the road. And a couple of meters down the road again, six kilometer mark. And there's the red bike route going up the hill. And the blue and the yellow bike routes going down the hill where we've come from. And just as you enter the forest, there's our next marker, St. Clairat, pointing that away through the forest. For reference, it is now just about a little bit past half past 11. And there's the 7k mark carrying on through the forest. It is now about mm, quarter to 12. And here's another split in the road, or a T-junction rather. That's about 10 to 12. Follow the feet, the footprints, down that way. This road, according to all I've been told, apparently goes back to Nutsi. That's a beach that's famous for uh, um, its castle architecture. Okay, but that's the way ahead. Here we go. And a couple of paces down, this, down the road, down the path. What do you suppose this sign means? Beware of hikers? Hikers beware of hikers. Hmm, peculiar. Yeah, it's about 5 to 12 now. We're taking another quick rest break. There's, there's the marker. We're going to our left. And there behind Nadia is the path. There is another path to the right, but the way is barred. This seems to be the old Hawkerville, Hawkerville Trail. Um, you can read the info there. And that should be it. And it's about mm, just a little bit past 12. And we're moving on again. It is now about hmm, 20 past 12. Here's our next marker. And we're going along the path in that general direction. Okay, it's about half past 12 and we have arrived at another peculiar sign. And I believe there's another one down the way. Whoops. Looks like they must be getting quite a bit of traffic down here. Anyway. Footprints to the right, and there we go. And towards the bottom of the downhill, a couple of minutes later, we find an interesting little bridge here. Oops, don't slip. They're asking about a waterfall. Apparently there's a waterfall somewhere along the, la along the way, but mm, this is not it. Quite a nice solid little bridge. And there's the way ahead among the trees. Nice one. 
and it's about 25 to 1 and we're coming out of the forest I don't know whether you'll be able to see it but through the trees over there I can see the sea let's carry on for a couple of paces and see what else we can see Okay, and another little bridge and a stream. I think the lighting is too good there. And here you can see some fire damage from last year, 2017. Can you see that? As I point in the right direction, I'm looking over the camera instead of through the camera. Uh, it's not a pretty sight. And there's another little marker. You might be able to see the sea across the horizon. Lovely, isn't it? Let's just take the view from here. And that's the forest that we just come out of. It's the path in which we're walking now, direction from which we've come, and panning back. Go. Fire damage. The old Hockerwald trail is to go down the beach. Nice view from the Alright, let's check it. Over the edge. view yes yeah, but as the as I said the old old Hockerville route used to come down on that ridge over there on the opposite side then down to the beach and you trudge along over the rocks and you'll come up on the other side again eventually and we're heading generally in that direction okay and there's a nice view of the beach. As I've said, it's about it's about 22 one at the moment. Here's our next marker. It's about just past quarter to one, and uh, we've got an option to go along the red route for the bikes, or along the demarcated footpath along that way there's a green car apparently there's a fisherman that drove in along the road and came down for a nice day of fishing angling all right here we go okay there's the little green golf and it's about 10 to 1 there's our next marker, but we're going to take a little bit of a detour. Down towards the old path, just to have a look over the edge. damage 
This used to be a... Where is it? There is it. There it is. It used to be an old... Um, what do you call it? Crossbar. Across the road to prevent erosion. There's another one. And they've all burnt. Okay, it's about 5 to 1. I decided to take a break. Yeah, that's a pretty view. There's the horizon! That's where we've come from. Okay, it's now about the two minutes past one, I guess. And we're moving on from our little break. Apparently we need to head to those blue gums right on the horizon. Those eucalyptus trees. Apparently that's where St. Clair Hut is. Okay, it's about five past one. And that's the way we've come down here and there's a bit of scrambling across the rocks here climbing up and then the path fizzles out where to go? that's the question my recommendation is go left and if you use your imagination you might see a path Amongst the little bushes and the scrub and whatnot. And then, before too very long, go back on the red bike route. That's the red bike route coming across the hill. That's the way that we've come. And that's the way we're going. There's the sea on our right hand side, towards the south. That's the way we've just come, where we've lost the path, turning back towards the east. And that's where we're going. Then very shortly after you come onto the red route again, that's about 10 past 1. There's another marker pointing to the left towards those blue gums on the horizon where we should find St. Clair Hut. It's about quarter past one and that's the old, old 14 kilometer marker on the old Hockerville route. We've cut about four kilometers out of the hike on the new route. So that's why we're here this early. Um, as you can see, lots of fire damage all around and some new greenery coming out as well. Quite a thick bit of greenery. And there's the sea on the horizon just behind us. And that's the path we've come. All right, and going ahead around the corner. <laughs> 